So a massive cicada invasion is expected to hit the U.S. this spring and summer. Two cicada broods are making a simultaneous comeback for the first time in over 200 years. Trillions of the insects are expected to emerge across a 16-state area, mainly in the south and midwest. Illinois and Iowa are expected to experience the emergence of both broods. To help us understand what's going on, let's bring in Dr. Matt Kaysen. He's an associate professor of mycology and plant pathology at West Virginia University. So you are definitely the best person, Professor, to explain to us in simple terms, why is this happening now? Well, we should first say that, um, you know, a lot of people travel to see the eclipse because it's such a biological mm -hmm. phenomenon. But this itself is a, is a real biological phenomenon. Um, periodical cicadas only exist here in the Eastern United States and different broods emerge in different years. This happens to be the first time in, in 221 years that the great southern brood and the Illinois brood are overlapping. So the first time in 220 years, they're coming up together. So there'll be some overlap in eastern Iowa and um, central Illinois, where these two broods are emerging in mass. And we're talking billions to trillions of cicadas. I'm glad you brought up the eclipse because I've seen people blame the eclipse. <laughs> people blame the eclipse for everything. Right. Their bad marriages, the cicadas, I know. It's everything. Like, come it has on. nothing to do with the eclipse. But that being said, is there anything we should do to prepare for this? Well, I think it's important to know that these cicadas uh, don't have mouth parts that can hurt us. Uh, they're sap feeding insects. Um, so although they are a, um, a nuisance um, uh, as far as noise outside goes, there's no harm uh, they pose directly to you. In fact, some people eat them. Um, that's mm. their own thing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, they, they can damage small trees that are just transplanted. So uh, young saplings that might have just been planted in your yard, you can cover up with some netting and things like that. But I would say um, just enjoy their emergence because this phenomenon doesn't happen all the time. Uh, so what makes uh, this different from the massive cicada emergence yeah. that we saw? Yeah, because I feel like we do this like every, like few, like every years few years or so. Every few years we're like, oh, no, the cicadas are coming. Yeah. It's a plague. But, like, what was different about the one that we saw in D.C.? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, in D.C., uh, back in 2021, we had brood 10 emerge. And those were only 17-year cicadas. Uh, what we have is the dual emergence of 13-year and 17-year cicadas. So 13-year cicadas consist of, like, four species of closely related species. Um, cicadas and the 17 year cicadas are three closely related species. So we have seven total species overlapping in time and space um, in an area, particularly the South, where we haven't seen them in a number of years. So, what are you going to be doing? How are you going to take this in, this monumental moment? Yeah, I, don't, I don't live in the area where they're, they're emerging, but I'm going to be traveling to sample them. I study a fungus that infects the cicadas, um, mm -hmm. it's a specialist on these cicadas. So, I'll be traveling out to, to capture samples. Feels of that like fungus to the cicadas. It feels like we're always like it was it was murder hornets, right? Then it was like Oh, listen, the, we had an earthquake. Earthquake. <laughs> murder hornets and then the lantern flies that we were told to like kill, which I could not really do. Uh, yeah. so I'm sure uh, Dr. Kaysen will have you on again at some point. Concerning times. <laughs> exactly. Good to talk with you.